Hey Paper Doll fans, I'm back and I have another idea for another one of my Paper Doll ornaments for my tree. So this time I'm going to use a an empty sunflower seeds packet. So let's get started and I'll show you my idea. Because this packet is a little bit big and it's an ornament for my Paper Doll tree, I'm going to choose to do this one without putting any legs on it. It's just going to be the head and the arms and then the body. And this is going to be the body. So what I want to do is I'm going to take a, this is thin, and I could back it with card, but I think I'm going to just put the card inside. So this is just a scrap piece of, of uh, cardboard, and I'm just going to use a glue stick, and I'm going to just add some glue stick to this card and slip it down into the packet. And then just press it and that'll just that made it thick and added some stability so that's my first step that I'm gonna do you could leave yours straight and have it be square it still looks really cute but I think just for the shape of it being a doll I'm going to add a waistline so I'm just gonna take my scissors I'm leaving the bottom edges and some of the side edge and I'm just gonna go in here and kind of cut a curve just to give it more of a body shape like that I'm going to do that on both sides and it doesn't have to be perfect but now I have more of a body shape instead of just straight up and down and you could leave it like this. You could just uh, put a little bit of glue along that edge and glue this shut. For me, I would like just some visual interest, so I'm going to take this to my sewing machine and I'm going to do some stitching along this edge. And here's what it looks like with zigzag. I decided to go all the way around. I just did a quick, simple zigzag stitch and it just added some fun and interest to this. And now this is a really cute body for my paper doll. And what I'm going to do with my strings hanging, instead of cutting them and having that little piece sticking up, I think I'm going to tuck them behind and just put a little dot of glue back here and glue them to the back side. So a little dot of glue and a little tiny bit of tape just to hold those strings behind and it just finishes it off and makes it look a little neater. And I look through my paper doll kits and things and I looked through magazine images and I couldn't find an image that really stood out to me so what I'm doing is I took a piece of scrap watercolor paper it's 140 pound watercolor paper and I'm just sketching out a face to use for my image and then I think what I'm gonna do is um, take a pen. The pens I like to use are Tombow Mono Drawing Pens. And I think I'm going to just take a Tombow pen and I'm going to just outline this and then I'm going to um, watercolor paint it real quick to make this the head for my doll. I think that will look really cute on this body. I like those Tombow Mono Drawing Pens because they uh, don't smear when you use wet medium over the top of them. So I'm going to use some Caran d'Ache Neo Color to to color this in, and uh, then I'm also going to use some Arteza brush pens to add some color to it too. So I will do speed this up so you can just watch me color this in.
So now I'm going to go ahead and cut her head out and get her ready to uh, move on to the next step. So now that I've fussy cut her out, I like to go back in with those same pens that I used for the hair and just color those edges because uh, 140 pound watercolor paper. It's nice and thick. It makes it nice and stiff. Paints a perfect doll head. But I don't like those white edges. So I'm using the hair color to just go in and color them and then it looks so much so much nicer that looks than the white edge see that white edge so I'm just gonna go around I'm gonna go yellow around here and the reddish color around the hair the arms I'm gonna use are from this printout this is from an Etsy store it is um, J. Lee Lou at Etsy.com and I like these arms so I'm going to go ahead and do my usual if you've uh, watched my other videos I cut it out leaving a little bit of space I um, glue it down with matte gel medium to a piece of lightweight card cardboard and then I trim fussy cut it out all in one piece and it makes them stiffer and easier to make movable limbs so I'm going to go ahead and do that I went on the internet and I found clip art of a watering can and some gardening tools and I resized them to the size that I want and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to trim them out leaving a little bit of space, glue them down to a piece of uh, recycled cardboard that's kind of thin and then uh, fussy cut them out. So here are my items all fussy cut out and they're nice and stiff and I'm going to go around the edges and on this on the arms it has little puff sleeves and gloves and I'm going to make them yellow because I want them to match the um, yellow that's in the sunflower in her hair up above so I'm going to just use those same colors and tint this and it only takes about a second to do so that it's yellow instead of cream colored. So I've gone around the edges with my colored pens to make the edges not white and what I'm going to do is glue this hand onto the handle of the watering can. So she's holding that in that hand. I'm going to glue the um, hand trowel into this hand but before I do that I love to add the little fine details and even though this is tiny I'm going to poke a little hole in this and I'm going to tie a piece of embroidery floss and knot it to make it look like that string that always hangs from hand tools you know when you hang, hang them up in your garden shed just for some realism. So I just threaded a big eye needle with some brown embroidery floss and I'm going to just poke that through the end of this and that way I can feed it through easily. And now I'm just going to tie it into a knot and snip it off. So it's cute, it just adds that little element of detail. So next I'm going to glue the head into place. I'm going to just put a little art glitter glue along the edge here and put her head where I want it to go. I think I'm going to tip it a little and glue her hair down here. And I did go around the edge of this with some black ink in a water brush too, just to get rid of the white edge along that. Just those little things just make it nice. So I'm going to take a little piece of cardboard and I'm going to just add it to the back. I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to glue it along this edge. And that is just to give like even a little bit more solid stability for where those arms are going to be anchored and to hold that head in place too. And then I'm just going to let that dry real quick. 
So I glued that hand to my watering can and then on this one I think what I'm going to do is make a little slit between the finger and where the thumb connects. Just cutting into that, like cutting a little groove in there so that I can slip this in and it's in the right position in her hand with her thumb behind because if I just left it like this and glue it behind it looks weird so that will make it look a little bit more realistic like she's holding that little hand trowel and then I'm going to just put a dab of glue and glue that into place so this is where they're going to go on the body is that cute or what I love it and I'm going to just, now that I have the arms lined up where I want them to be, I'm going to take my paper piercer and I'm going to go through the arm and the body all the way to the mat. And the same over here. And then that's going to give me my places for putting the brads. And then I can poke this all the way through to make the hole a little bit more workable. But it just lines them up where they need to be. And now I can put my brads in. I'm going to take my yellow cardstock scrap and a border punch and I'm going to make a lacy border. Let's see if this works. I'm not quite sure how to use this. So you line it up and there's a little edge there. This was gifted to me by someone and so like I said I've never used it before. But I thought it just might be cute to have a little cardstock lacy border. Super cute. Look at that at the bottom. Cute. I love it. I'm going to just put some glue along this edge and glue that to the bottom. I like art glitter glue because it dries so fast that whatever you put down just sticks in place right away. Then I'm going to just take my scissors and trim that. Super cute. Look at how cute that is. Love it. And it goes with the yellow at the top. Just adds a little something to it. And then for my last idea, I'm going to take some actual sunflower seeds. I went through and um, I have bird feeders outside and there's sunflowers mixed in with the bird seed. And so I'm going to just glue randomly some of these sunflower seeds down at the bottom. So it's almost like the watering can is watering the sunflower seeds. I just thought that might be cute. And then I'm going to let that glue dry. And I'm going to use a little bit of um, Dried Marigold Distress Ink by Tim Holtz and his little tool. And that yellow is just a little bit too bright for my taste, so I'm going to just come into these edges and just stress them a little bit because then it's not so bright yellow. Yeah, that's better. That looks much better. See, so now it's more toned down. 
probably can't see that on camera. I'm not sure why on camera colors don't quite show up as well. Go around the edge of this flower up at the top. Okay. And then I went into my stash and found a little ephemera butterfly. And I think what I'm going to do is take my X-Acto knife and cut a little a little groove where this hair flip is. She's got a nice little hair flip going on and I'm going to just cut it so that I can slip that butterfly and tuck it in behind the hair flip like that. That looks really cute. So then I'm going to just glue that into place with a touch of glue. I like that. That looks just cute. It's not just gluing it to the top. Making that little slit adds interest when you can see the, the hair flip. So there you go. That's that's my last thing besides adding a hanger to this and some of the finer details like taking my glossy accents and making her lips glossy. I always love to do that to make her little lips glossy and pretty. And I'm going to take some Nuvo drops in liquid mercury. This is a silverish type color. And I'm going to go in on the little tip of that watering can and just add some Nouveau drops there where all the little holes are for the water to come out. I just thought they'd be cute in the silver. Just things like this that give it dimension and character. And this Nuvo drop is a dark walnut color, and I think I'm going to come in and add some little dots up here in this sunflower just to make it textured. You know how the sunflower centers are always really textured. Let me show you what that looks like. For the hanger on this one, I'm going to use black embroidery floss, and I want it to be like this behind her head. I'm going to tie it to the corners. So I'm just going to estimate about how long I need to make it with some knots. And I'm going to thread my big eye needle and go up through this corner here. Pull it through and then tie it. using the end of my needle to get it worked through that and then tie my little knot and cut that string and then figure out how long I want it and I can put it behind her head like that so that's about right and then do the same thing on this side Thread the needle, put it through, be careful not to tear your card. Make sure my hanger is the length I want it. I want it to be just behind her head. And then I'm going to tie my knot right there. So I hope you had fun watching me make another paper doll ornament for my paper doll tree. And 
This just gave you an idea of using a seed packet. You could use any type of flowers, use a seed packet, draw or find a head, some arms, some embellishments, some little things, make it movable, add some interest to it. This could be regular lace, could be paper lace like I created. You could use the bottom of a doily. All kinds of things you can do. Add some fun and interesting things to it and Maybe this inspired you to go try and make a paper doll ornament from a seed packet. Have fun, make art, because art soothes the heart. So thanks for stopping by. Mm -hmm.